The vision for my sculpture of the Eternal Indian, as I like to refer to it, came from my experiences with the Eagle's Nest Art Colony. We were a group of artists who passed our summers in our own little community, high on the east bluff of the Rock River. There we sought creative inspiration in the beauty of our natural surroundings. Even our name, the Eagle's Nest, was taken from an ancient cedar tree, a site for nesting eagles. There was one spot along the bluff that I really liked. It became a ritual for me to stand there with my arms folded, looking out over the river with reverence. I often considered the story of the great sack warrior, Black Hawk, and I imagined the hardship he and his people experienced in parting with his land I now enjoyed. These were the thoughts that compelled me to honor this noble race through my art and gave me the vision to build on my bluff a statue that would represent the native nations who once lived along the Rock River. It was my feeling that the Native American must not be lost to his land, even though the whites had driven him from it. I consulted with engineers and decided to sculpt my statue from concrete rather than bronze. No one had ever attempted a sculpture from concrete before, but it was much more economical and was said to be virtually indestructible. I called on the help of the young German sculptor, John Pration. He had experience as an engineer, and I was counting on his skill to bring the masterpiece I imagined to life. For the next three years, we worked hard on molds for the sculpture. Then in the fall of 1910, we poured the concrete, wrapped the statue in burlap, and left it to cure until spring. Walking away without seeing the results was miserable. That winter seemed endless. I wondered if the finished statue would be pleasing or become a blight on the landscape. That spring, when Pration climbed the scaffolding and pried the mold from the lips, I watched anxiously from below. The lips were perfect, and I knew our experiment would be a success. When the statue was dedicated on July 4th of 1911, it was the tallest statue in the world. The public immediately referred to it as Black Hawk. The completed masterpiece was beautiful, as every work of art should be. But in my eyes, it would stand through the generations as a tribute to the legacy of all Native Americans. Rest